Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video today, we are going to discuss the top three reasons why your PMP certification can become totally worthless in spite of yourself literally giving your blood and sweat to achieve this gold standard certification. There are plenty of examples you will find where project managers, in spite of having the PMP certification, is struggling to get a job or they are having quite a hard time to get a pay raise, which is theoretically expected after you are PMP certified, right? You can look around your personal network as well and I am sure you'll be able to find many such examples. So what's really going wrong with the PMP certification? Has it really become worthless in the industry? Are recruiters really valuing the PMP certification as a proof of credential for project managers? Now, if you are watching this video, guys, you are most probably preparing for the PMP certification or at least planning to write the exam, right? So this video would be extremely crucial for you because you don't want to spend all that time, money and effort to get a certification which will eventually lead to nothing, right? So if you're interested to know more, please give this video a like and let's get the discussion started. Right. So first things first, how many PMP certified project managers really exist across the world as of today? If you look at this data published by the Project Management Institute, who are, let's say, the custodians of the PMP certification, the number is at a staggering 1.4 million as of 2024. And this number is only forecasted to go up since PMI estimates that about 25 million new project management professionals are needed to meet the global talent demands by 2030. Also, PMI does yearly reports on the earning power of PMP certified professionals and those reports show that the median salary of a PMP certified project manager is at least 14% higher than a non-PMP project manager. So these numbers look great on the surface, right? And if you are an aspiring project manager, you will feel that, yeah, this is it, right? This is my holy grail to reach the pinnacle of excellence in my project management career. Well, if that's true, how do you explain such posts on social media where project managers are claiming that they are literally not seeing any benefit after their PMP certification. Not only to get promoted within their organization, but also they are finding difficulty to find a high paying job elsewhere after their PMP certification. Now, working with PMP exam candidates for at least the last four to five years and helping thousands of them to pass the exam and speaking to many of my students, let me tell you where the source of the problem lies. And the issue is not how efficient the PMP certification is, but the mindset with which aspirants approach the PMP certification. So over the next section of this video, we will talk about three such wrong expectations with which project managers often start their PMP certification journey, which eventually leads to a harsh reality check later. Okay, so wrong expectation number one. After I get PMP certified, my salary will increase, right? Now to understand the problem behind this mindset, guys, you need to put yourself in your employer's shoes. Okay. When do you as an employer will hire a PMP certified project manager? Tell me when you need the professional expertise of a project manager who is PMP certified. Now ask yourself, guys, as a recruiter or as an employer, are you paying for the certification? or you are paying for the skill that the certification promises. Of course, the latter, right? Because without the skill and the practical application, the PMP certification does not hold any value to you or your organization. And this is where many PMP exam aspirants start their PMP certification journey on a totally wrong foot. They believe that just because they have those three letters PMP beside their name now, employers are now bound to pay them a higher salary 
or to promote them. Now, this is far from truth, guys. Okay, and I have already explained the reason to you. Until and unless you are able to demonstrate the expertise which you bring with your PMP certification in real life, where you have really applied those PMP tools and techniques to drive project excellence, you will never be able to convince your employer about your credibility as a PMP certified project manager. Now, if you do not understand this hard truth, guys, you can keep on writing certification after certification after certification. And after some time, the space on your visiting card might start to feel too small, but you will never be able to reap the actual benefits a certification process provides to you as a professional okay now moving on to wrong expectation number two let me pass the PMP exam as quickly as possible maybe in the next two or three weeks and then I will see a step change in my career very fast I have seen plenty of examples on social media where aspirants come and literally shout from their rooftops saying that they have passed the PMP exam in like 14 or 21 days and they assure everyone that the exam is so easy and so basic that everyone can pass it within a month and basically if you as a project management professional you are taking two or three months to prepare and pass the exam you are a dud okay now listen to this very carefully guys a person who passes an exam like the PMP in 14 or let's say 21 days might be a good exam taker but they might not be a good project manager okay just because you have created sort of some Guinness Book of World Records by passing an exam in record time does not make you a good project manager and this reality check for such candidates happen not after the exam but when they go out in the job market and start looking for jobs or start appearing for interviews so the bottom line is the employer is not paying you a salary for passing the pmp exam in 14 days right take a step back and reflect what is the intent of a certification process be it any certification guys you can take the pmp prince 2 pmi acp take any certification from your industry the intent of a certification is to provide you with a special skill set right so when you are preparing for your pmp exam please give yourself enough time to learn and acquire that skill set spend time learning the concepts spend time reflecting upon them and thinking how the tools and techniques link back to your real professional world apply a few of such tools and techniques in your ongoing projects okay no one is stopping you from doing that because this is how you will develop the skill which your employer is seeking please stop treating the pmp exam process as some kind of a race where you need to reach the finishing line first because you know what the actual race to become an accomplished pmp certified project managers starts not before your pmp exam but after your PMP exam, when you have become a PMP certified project manager and your credibility goes through an acid test in the industry when you float your CV for job search. Wrong expectation number three. I will throw a lot of PMP jargons in my interview and the interviewers will know how good a PM I am. So this is one of the most cardinal mistakes committed by rookie PMP certified project managers who somehow has bypassed eligibility criteria of job experience for the PMP exam by telling a bunch of lies in their essays and somehow they have convinced PMI that they have led projects as a project manager for more than three years. Trust me guys, every day, I come across such aspirants who do not have any project management experience but they are so hell-bent on writing the PMP exam, God knows why, that they will go at any length to sort of let's say morph their application or provide incorrect information in their application that their application will look like a project manager's application. My advice to all of them is the same, okay? There is a reason why PMI has kept a three plus years of project manager work experience eligibility criteria. PMI wants to make sure that the candidates who write the PMP exam do have the basic knowledge 
of what it takes to lead projects and thereby they'll be able to appreciate and learn the concepts of the project management body of knowledge much better when compared to a project manager who has never led a project by himself or herself. However, many aspirants choose to ignore this advice. Now by God's grace, their application gets approved, they write the PMP exam, they pass it and the day when they are at the interview table, reality strikes at that point in time. Look guys, you might think that the person who is on the other side of the interview table is a fool and you can sort of overwhelm them by giving them a bunch of PMP jargons from PMBOK in the interview. But let me tell you that the person who is taking your interview is at least as smart as you, if not better. Okay. So if you do not have real life project management experience, you will have a very hard time to crack a PMP project manager interview because recruiters in such interviews look for applications of the PMP concepts in real life projects. They look for you as the project manager who has those skills and are able to apply them in an organization. Many PMP aspirants miss this. Okay. And they keep on failing interview after interview after interview struggling on and on for years to find a decent project manager job. And the funny thing is, then they go on rant on the social media saying, oh, the PMP is worthless. Okay. There are too many PMP certified professionals in the industry. And that's why I'm not able to differentiate myself. All the salary data, you know, which PMI shows is bullshit, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And it goes on and on. Now I hope you, as you are watching this video, guys, will not commit such mistakes. Okay. Because let me tell you this, the PMP certification is still the gold standard certification of project management across the globe and the PMP certification carries more worth and more weightage than you think. Okay. I hope you liked the discussion. Please press the like button if you did. Sorry if I was a bit too candid or a bit too harsh in terms of communicating the truth to you. Okay. But I hope you appreciate it and I will see you again in the next video.